The Empress Shunzhi's first wife was his cousin, Burji Jitashi. They got married in August 1651. Their marriage was a totally political marriage, and was arranged by the Prince Ri of the first rank. Shunzhi really hated the Prince Ri, and also switched his hate to his Empress. Who was chosen by the Prince Ri? Two years after marriage, the Empress was demoted to Consort Jing. When the Emperor Kangxi was eleven years old, for the political reason, his grandma, the Empress Dowager Xiao Zhuang, chosen He She Li Shi as his Empress. The young Ruyu couple. Had a great relationship. In 1669, their first son was born. This little prince was the Emperor Kangxi's Di Zhangzi. Unfortunately, the little prince died when he was only three years old. This made the young couple fall in deeply sad. In 1642. He She Li Shi passed away when she gave birth her second son. At that time, she was only twenty-one years old. The Empress Xiao Jingxian Wu La Na La Shi was married with the Emperor Yongzheng before he became the emperor. Yongzheng really loved his wife. In the Palace Museum in Beijing, China. There were a large number of pictures that they cosplayed average people. In 1631, Wu La Na La Shi passed away at 51. She was the only wife of Yongzheng. Started from the Emperor Yongzheng, Qing Dynasty emperors didn't publicly promote the Crown Prince. The Emperor Yongzheng secretly chosen his fourth son Hongli as heir. So the Emperor Yongzheng used the criterion of choosing the Empress to choose Hongli's wife. The fifteen years old girl Fu Cha Shi was chosen by the Emperor Yongzheng. Hongli and Fu Cha Shi got married in seventeen twenty seven. Eight years later, this couple became the emperor and the empress. When Fu Changshi became the empress, her son was already five years old, and was considered as the crown prince by Qianlong. As the empress, Fu Changshi did a great job, and was respected by the whole court, inner court ladies. Everything looked perfect. In 1738, the disaster happened. Fu Changshi's son died at eight years old. Hongli and Fu Changshi felt heartbreak. In August 1746, Fu Changshi gave birth her second son, but this little prince died in December 17. Forty-seven. This time, Fu Changshi felt desperate, and passed away four months after his son's death, when she was only thirty-six years old. In November seventeen ninety-five, Jia Qing became the emperor, because his father, the Emperor Qianlong, didn't pass away. So. Jia Qing's wife Xi Ta La Shi was promoted to Si Huanghou. She was the empress for about one year, then passed away at thirty-six, because the emperor Qianlong was still alive. Her funeral process didn't hold as the empress standards. In seventeen ninety-six. Niu Hu Lu Shi was chosen by the Emperor Qianlong as his granddaughter-in-law. In 
纽霍路士 passed away at twenty-seven. Twelve years later, her husband became the Emperor Dao Guang. The Emperor Dao Guang posthumously promoted her to the Empress. In eighteen forty-nine, Sake Da Shi was married with Prince Yi Ming. One year later, she passed away at nineteen. One month after she passed away, her husband became the Emperor Xianfeng. In eighteen seventy-two, the Emperor Tongzhi was seventeen years old, and ready to get married. Two empress daughters couldn't get agreement on who would be the empress. Ci An supported Alu Te Shi, but Ci Xi liked Fu Cha Shi. So Tongzhi got the chance to choose his wife. After deeply considerations, Tongzhi chose Alu Te Shi as the empress. Meanwhile. Promoted Fu Cha Shi as consort Hui. This result made Cixi really angry and hated Alu Te Shi. This made Alu Te Shi have a difficult life in the inner court. In 1875, three years after marriage, Tongzhi passed away at 20. 75 days later. The Empress Alu Te Shi passed away at twenty-four. Someone said she was killed by Ci Xi. Someone said she suicide. In eighteen eighty-eight, the Emperor Guangxu was seventeen years old. The Empress Dowager Ci Xi had to choose the Empress for him. This time. The Empress Dowager Ci An already passed away, so Ci Xi could make decision all by herself. She forced Guangxu to choose her niece Ye He Na La Shi as the Empress, even though Ci Xi herself didn't truly like this niece. In 1908, Guangxu and Ci Xi almost passed away at the same time. Ye He Na La Shi was promoted to the Empress Dowager Long Yu in February 1912 because of the Xinhai Revolution. The Empress Dowager Long Yu had to declare the Qing Dynasty was finished. One year later, Long Yu passed away at 46. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.